the Yarra City Council in oh. Melbourne, ah, where they've just released a climate emergency plan. 81 pages it took for them to write this emergency plan. They declared a climate emergency back in 2012, by the way, but uh, they've finally got <laughs> round to the plan, which, amongst other things, uh, demands that people in their uh, locality stop eating meat because, of course, meat is bad for the environment, mm. all that methane... Uh, the irony, of course, the delicious irony of this is that it's just been revealed that at the Yarra Council, prior to every council meeting, all the executives and councillors are served roast beef, chicken or lamb before their <laughs> meeting. In fact, the other night when they approved this climate emergency plan which says residents should no longer eat meat, they were served roast meat right before they voted to endorse this plan. Joe, you could not make this I, stuff I just up. love this story so much. And, again, it just tells you everything you need to know about the Greens, who, of course, dominate Yarra yes, City they Council. Do. It tells you everything you need to know about inner city Melbourne, which, of course, where Yarra City Council is. And it tells you everything you need to know about vegetarians. Or, indeed, what used to be vegetarians. Now, of course, you've got to go vegan. Vegans. Otherwise, it just doesn't count. And we're talking completely plant-based. Um, and, 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 again... If you want to, you know, this is what you do when you can't afford the $1,500 to go on a male retreat <laughs> and lie in a pool with, uh, with other middle-aged men. <laughs> Greens councillor. You say you become a Greens councillor. Mm. There's your third place. And you, um, and you put out little communiques saying, hey, I think everybody should be vegetarian just like me. I just, lo I just love it so, so much. Just imagine, like, just imagine being... On a city count, like on a local government council, and just thinking, just imagine, just having the thought cross through your head. Oh, I know. You know what we should do? We should tell our residents what to eat. And and while everyone's going vegan, they've also uh, set goals for how many residents in that area would be going to work on scooters. So uh, wow. they want to increase scooter use by forty percent uh, come mid twenty thirties, because that would be great. Have you read their actual plan, though? No, it's very just detailed. the highlights. No, Have you read the whole... It's 81 not. pages. I mean, it is, but this a whole it's part about the their Uluru substantial statement. evidence. They have substantial evidence, Mac. Go on. People at home, mm. you need to be aware of this. There is substantial evidence, they say, to suggest that the emissions associated with current dietary patterns, particularly the high and increasing rate of consumption of animal products, are likely to make it impossible to limit global heating to 1.5 Celsius. The plan says... It is widely understood that a shift to plant-based diets is critical in responding to the climate emergency. So here they are telling you, we are not going to make it unless you stop eating animal-based products. Mm. They say, while well, they eat animal-based <laughs> products. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a perfect encapsulation of what I like to call climate communism. Because it wasn't the people at the top who were starving during communist regimes. It wasn't the people at the top who were suffering and doing it hard and dying in millions, whether they were shot into mass graves or just didn't have enough to eat or from exposure. No, no. Everything about climate communism means less for you. Less food for you, less mm. travel for you, less options for you period, where we're, whether we're talking about where you can get your energy from, how much energy you're allowed to use on a daily basis, which car you can drive now, it will not affect any of them. And they know it. So yeah. they're happy to make these rules. They're happy to virtue signal for as long as the day is long. And But th not themselves. The they will is, not put it no, in but, practice. Remember when Davos but, got pulled yes, up but, doing this very thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Economic they're all forum. having succulent steaks. They were like, steaks. agriculture is raping the planet. There's no way we can save it for as long as there's agriculture on Earth. Um, How do you want us to live? There's this thing called food. Meanwhile, they were feasting on the fat of the land. But with Liz, you said so yourself. Steaks. If they don't, if they don't get their meaty proteins, they won't have the strength and testosterone well, to won't. lead the revolution. Well, they won't get and the overthrow the, the government. You're a vegan, aren't you? The, the good oh, thing about no. this story is oh, it no. saves you from ever having to read Animal Farm because uh, the Yarra Council are proving all animals are equal, but some are more equal than others. The other thing I like about this uh, climate action plan, which we must mention, is the Yarra Council did say that deforestation is a massive problem. And I can only imagine how bad it is in Fitzroy, Collingwood and Richmond, <laughs> mm. uh, where they are responsible for what happens. Seriously, what a joke. <laughs> Although, it, to, be, to be fair, it is often said, you know, that the left will eat itself. Well, now they can't, because that would be... 
Yeah, that, that wouldn't that be a plant-based diet. No, that would be red meat. Unless, although, if you ate a vegan, <laughs> would that be a vegan diet? 